MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man o international. Tama, tama. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. What are we waiting for? Let's start with number 10. Despicable Me 4 release date announced. Despicable Me is getting another feature movie. The fourth installment of Despicable Me will be released in 2024 in theaters as announced by Universal Pictures. The lead characters will be voiced again by Steve Carell, Kristen Wiig, Pierce Coffin, Miranda Cosgrove, and Steve Coogan. More details are about to unfold soon, so let's watch out for that. Game of Thrones author to launch Marvel comic series. Game of Thrones author R.R. R. Martin is doing a collaboration with Marvel Comics. This is major. Marvel will be adapting his Wild Cards book to turn it into a comic imprint. The Wild Card series is the story of an alternate post-World War II history when super-powered individuals lived on Earth. In a statement, R.R. R. Martin said he's privileged that Marvel is producing a narrative out of a book that he wrote, which will be shown to a wide audience. We'll keep tabs on this as it happens, but yes, we do smell another box office coming real soon. Top 8 Francis Ford Coppola spending $120 million for his film. Francis Ford Coppola is not hesitating nor batting an eyelash when he shelled out $120 million or more than 6 billion pesos for his passion project, Megalopolis. Francis wrote about it in the 1980s and now he's in talks with Oscar Isaac, Forrest Whitaker and Kate Blanchett to be in the cast as per report by Variety. The plot remains a mystery and the production schedule is yet to be announced and also no major studio is in touch with the project yet. Francis is known for The Godfather and Apocalypse and Now. Let's see what his take will be now that it's a new generation. <music> Top 7 Queen Elizabeth II tests positive for COVID-19. Buckingham Palace announced that Queen Elizabeth II has tested positive for COVID-19. The Queen is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms but continues to carry out light duties at Windsor over the coming week. We reported earlier that Prince Charles got COVID-19 the second time around. Other people in Windsor House have also tested positive. Recently, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated the 70th anniversary of her ascension to the throne. Saweetie collaborates with her, Pinay Power. Grammy-nominated star in Filipino-American Saweetie teams up with fellow Filipino-American R&B chart topper Her and for a breezy, sensual new single, Closer. The dance-infused track finds a duo serving up playful lines and seductive melodies, reaffirming Saweetie's penchant for making hits that feel nostalgic yet uniquely hers. And in the music video, Saweetie and Her take themselves and their icy friends, ooh, that drip, on a trip around the world via icy airlines. So Weedy pulls stops at Paris, Tokyo, and of course, the Philippines. Living life to the fullest with whirlwind romances and lots and lots and lots of shopping involved, and it's out now under icy slash Warner music. But for now, of course, we're going to give you a peek for a closer look of Closer by Saweetie. Okay, halfway on the show, I just want to say hi to the All In Addicts, the OMJ supporters, and of course, everyone watching here, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with replays of 10 on 1PH. 
Biolo Pascual shares investment plans and a political stand. Papa P is indeed saving up for his future or and dami niya nang na-save. Okay, so a well-established showbiz personality who has been in the industry for more than two decades, Biolo Pascual is really putting his hard-earned money into something. Here's what he says about his current investment and check it out. Uh, I entered into a partnership for uh, for hospitality, hospitality business. And yeah, uh, quite excited about that. And since I live in the province, I am uh, gearing more towards uh, sustainable living. So, you know, with, with, the, with the properties that we have, we try to engage in uh, different programs wherein we can help the community. So, you know, parang, yeah, um, I'm leaning towards more sustainable lifestyle. Well, we do know that he is supporting some partyless groups, but of course, with the advent of the campaign season and a lot of celebrities in the ire of so many supporters of each groups, we want to know what Piolo Pascual's political stand is. Here's what he said. Stick to your field. I mean, that would be my, uh, my, my answer to that. I mean, I'm not a political person. So I'm sticking to what I know, which is show business. So this is my field and this is this is my world. So I'm keeping it like that. You know, should uh, I be asked for my personal choices who I want to campaign for? That's my personal choice. It's got nothing to do with my being an actor or a professional person. But um, I'm not the type who would, you know, uh, settle it in social media. I wouldn't want to, you know... Uh, aggravate the situation, I would just vote for who I want to vote for. R.C. Munoz gives rock star performance at the New York Fashion Week. How about mixing fashion and rock music? That's what R.C. Munoz did when she literally performed a rock song at the New York Fashion Week for international brand Hecka's Runway. R.C. slayed her rendition of Guns N' Roses' Sweet Shot of Mine. Slaying a rock song is not new to R.C. because she is a front woman of a metal band, Philia. Angeline Quinto reveals a non-showbiz boyfriend. For the first time, Angeline Quinto revealed the face of her non-showbiz boyfriend. In photos uploaded on Instagram, Angeline shares poses in a maternity shoot with her boyfriend. Videos were also shared in her YouTube vlog, but Angeline is still keeping mom about the identity of the non-showbiz personality that is her baby daddy. Well, the father of the child said he is a private person after all. Is Erich Gonzalez about to get married soon? Aha, uh -huh. is Erich Gonzalez tying the knot? That is a question of all the marites based on the wedding bands of a church in Muntinlupa. Erich and her non-showbiz boyfriend Mateo Lorenzo is tying the knot soon. Per the details, their wedding will happen in March at the St. James the Great Parish in Muntinlupa City. Erich has been dating Mateo since 2018 and they are keeping their relationship private. Ooh, I love how local celebrities now know how to do so. You know what? I mean like how in k-drama the stars we know that they're in a relationship but we don't know what's going on every step of the way usually here in the philippines we know a lot right but with erich yes wow she is tying the knot soon and we haven't even met the guy well anyway but for number one this is our top story Jake Zyrus shares topless photo. Jake Zyrus created buzz online over the weekend when he did top his topless photo. And he did post, rather. And in the caption, he shared that he is happy to be able to show what he really, really is. The post is for his colleagues who are trans looking for a sign to be confident in their own skin. He also said that if one is not ready, they don't have to rush it as there's timing to do so. Go, Jake. You look fantastic. And you look really, really content where you at in life right now. 
All right. So before we end, we do have a general reminder for everybody to continue ensuring we're all safe from COVID-19 and other diseases. OK, but anyway, for COVID-19, wear a mask, disinfect, practice social distancing and get boosted. That's it for today. I'm MJ Mar 40. Makalista my countdown Mondays to Fridays, 415 p.m. on One News with replays at 10 p.m. on One PH. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ta-ta!